this was a request mm -hmm. <laughs> from someone who actually uses this in the classroom to teach. And it is uh, something I learned when I was in public school. As I said, I went to a French school. And one little piece of Canadian history is that um, early on, as uh, Westerners were coming onto what is now Canadian soil, there was a young Jesuit missionary by the name of Father Jean de Brébeuf. Now, Father Jean came to spend the rest of his adult life with uh, Huron Native community, uh, which still exists. And we've actually performed this uh, in Midland, Ontario, where St. Marie Long Hurons actually um, started. So it was written by Father Jean in the language of his new neighbors. Because he, as a, as a missionary, uh, did something that was, I like to think was quite humble for the time. Uh, I don't know his, his reasons behind it, but instead of asking his new community to learn French, he immediately started learning their language, knowing that at some point they had to find some common ground to talk to each other. And of course, he had arrived in this fully uh, vibrant community, culture, their own language, their own music, their own traditions, their own faith. And what he did was he let music connect the two cultures, where he was able to explain what gave him joy and hope for the future, and then learn what they believed as well. So I'm going to sing this as it was written by Father Jean in the Huron language, and then there's a translation into French, which would have been Father Jean's native tongue, and then there is a translation into English at the end. This is known as the Huron Carol. <laughs>
Shit.